Today I'm going to do something that I normally don't do. As most of you know, I typically make these heavily edited true crime videos that uh, have all kind of crime scene stuff in them and all of that. And today's video is a true crime video. It's just going to be different. You see, I submitted a Freedom of Information Act request to the Athens Police Department and I have gotten a whole bunch of body camera footage and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw up my intro right quick and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna briefly describe the situation leading up to the moment when he was confronted by law enforcement and then I'm just gonna play the body cam footage after that from law enforcement's interaction with him that day. Also, I have time stamped this video, so if you don't care to hear me uh, you know, give you the events leading up to the officer involved shooting, then you can just skip past all of that and go straight to the body cam footage. But the story took place in 2021, you know, pretty recently, when 38 year old Juan Joseph Danielle Castigliano went on a two day rampage across Athens, Georgia, which led up to the officer involved shooting that occurred right here at Walker Park in Athens. If you like body cam footage and interrogations, if you like to watch that kind of stuff, then this is going to be your type of video for sure. It's a very windy day here in Athens, so I'm utilizing a microphone to combat that if the audio sounds a little bit different. But anyway, so the days in question were Saturday, May 22nd, and Sunday, May 23rd, 2021. It was a couple of hot summer days here, and as you expect, families were out enjoying those hot summer days. On that Saturday, May 22nd, at approximately 5.20 p.m., 911 calls started coming into law enforcement reporting that a man was walking through this apartment complex here, pointing a gun at people and trying to start fights with them. Athens, Carcani, 911. Hey, this is a guy on Vine Street with a, walking around with a gun, talking trash. I'm just calling because he's walking around like he's going to shoot a lot of folks. He's on Vine Street, the apartment's on the right. Yeah. What color shirt? I just don't want nobody to get... What color shirt, sir? What color shirt? He don't, he, don't have, he don't have one on. Okay. Do you need to meet with an officer or no? Nah, I don't. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm headed to the house. I don't care what they do. I'm, here. I'm getting out of All right. Shortly after, the same man shot at two different cars driving down the road here, just as they drove by him, and he actually shot out the windows of those cars. Athens Park County, number one. Um, yes, yeah, somebody just shot in my sister's car as she was riding down the road. Nah, so sorry, can't be that one one. Hi, this is me again about, I'm the person that calls from Trail Creek. Huh? When I rolled down past him, he shot at my window and at the, um, he shot at both of my windows. Like, and he I shot at your windows? Yes, me and another person was riding and he shot at both cars. Did he damage your windows? Yes, like, it's busted. After the 911 call started coming in, officers raced here to the scene and they spent over an hour walking around on foot and with canines searching for Juan Castellano. Some of the body cam footage that I have, you can even see the officers with their canines right here at this particular spot uh, searching for him. But they found nothing. He had completely disappeared. But they would not have to wait very long at all to come in contact with him again. On Sunday, May the 23rd, here in Athens, it was so hot. And at this park here, this is Virginia Callaway Coffer Walker Park. As you can see, Walker Park here, they have a splash pad. And on the day in question, it was packed. All of a sudden though, out of nowhere, Juan Castellano decided that he didn't care for all of these families to be here having fun without him. It's pretty clear that uh, he was having some sort of mental issue on the day in question. Juan comes up the hill and he gets closer to the splash pad, 
play area over here, the people said that they noticed that he was talking to himself and it even seemed as if he was having a full-blown conversation just with himself. Just before one got to the splash pad gate here, he made contact with a woman who was exiting and then all of a sudden out of nowhere he starts yelling at her and asking her if she's throwing up gang signs at him. He started saying things that made no sense and then he reached into the camouflage jacket and he pulled out a rifle and pointed it right at her head. Somehow or another, that's not clear to me, the woman manages to get away from Juan without being shot by some miracle. So it's at this point that the 911 calls start coming in. And I am gonna play a few of those 911 calls for you here in a minute after I finish uh, getting through this part of the story. After that lady got away from Juan, he then turned, they had two teenagers sitting here that were taking the money from the families and then they were allowing families entrance into the facility. So Juan Castellano gives those two teenagers PTSD and he points the gun right at them and then demands all of the money in the cash box in this crazy brazen armed robbery that happened right in front of dozens and dozens of people. So from here, Juan could hear the police sirens getting closer and closer and closer. And he knows that the cops are coming. So unbelievably, he starts walking down the path this way, like headed towards the parking lot. And unbelievably, he picks up the phone and he calls 911 himself. And for whatever reason, he asked to speak to the state police. Clark County 911. Give me the state police. Okay, well, this is Athens, Clark County. What can we do for you? Give me the state police. Okay, this is 911 for Athens, Clark County. And I want you have an emergency in Athens, Clark County. All right, bye. Athens, Clark County, 911. I need the state police. Okay, what's going on? I need the state police. Okay, what is going on? I need the state police. Okay, you have to tell me what's going on. Man, you heard what I said. No, you have to tell me what's going on. You can't just call 911 and get whoever you want to talk to. You got to talk. Tell me what's going on. Now, after Juan robbed the the young teenagers and took all the cash money for the splash pad, he was picked up by a camera that used to be positioned right here, coming out of where the roll-up door is down here. That's where they were taking the money. He's picked up on camera, coming out of there, and then. As he's heading out here towards the parking lot, there is another camera mounted on the side of the building right there that sees Juan like walking this way towards the parking lot. And as he's headed up this way, he's like over here in the grass area, you see a family with a few adults and there's a couple of kids coming up in front of them down the pathway here and you can see one he points the gun at those little children scaring them half to death like a monster and then as the parents are coming up he points the gun at them as well fortunately he didn't shoot anyone and they managed to get by him I guess they were headed over to the splash pad but one just continues on so one Castellano he spots this woman getting out of her SUV. So he walks up to her and he pushes her aside and he hops into her car and starts to leave. Now, this whole interaction where he steals this person's car is all caught on 911 audio. It was happening as there was a caller on the phone with 911 at the time. And again, I'm gonna play that for you in just a second. So he hops into this person's car and he squeals tires getting over here to the road and he heads down the hill that way as one exits the parking lot up there and he starts coming down the hill he makes it around this curb and he gets about right in here when he notices that the cops are already here and they're posted up right here you can see them there's lights on their cars they're standing outside with rifles in hand looking up this direction he quickly hangs a right pops over the curve here and at the time this fence wasn't here and he goes across the sidewalk and down this hill right here through the grassy area and onto the street over there. Actually that whole uh, ordeal is caught on the police officer's body cameras. 
Juan has come down the grassy knoll over here and made it around this bend, and he spots the police cars in the distance, and two officers who are on foot who ran up from over there, they are about right here where this light pole is, and uh, they're like running, headed up in that direction, and they spot Juan driving the stolen Honda Pilot, so they walk out into the street with their rifles and command him to stop, and it's at this point Juan stops for them. It's at this point, everything else that happened is recorded on the body cameras of the Athens police officers. So I'm now just going to play that body camera footage without commentary so you can watch it as it happened. And I should mention that I did utilize several different officers' body cameras for the rest of this video. And I did that just to give you a few different perspectives um, as to what happened. But this is what happened directly after Juan Castellano carjacked an SUV from up there in that upper parking lot, left the parking lot area, drove his car to right in here, and was confronted by police officers who actually use that pole as cover when everything happens. Athens Park County 911. Uh, yes, hi, I'm, I'm at Walker Park um, at the aquatic park for the flash pad. There's a gentleman who appears intoxicated and somebody said that they just saw him with a gun. Athens Clark County 911. Yeah, somebody with a trail, please. Splash pad, somebody has a gun. Okay, please what's come quickly. Okay, they're already on the way, ma'am. With a splash pad. Please come, I don't want to see you on the phone. Clark County 911. Uh, I need you guys to hurry up. There's a guy walking around at the splash pad on trail screen with a weapon yelling at kids and people here. Can you guys please come to help? Okay, what's he wearing? Uh, I know he's wearing like a camouflage jacket. He's hiding the gun. Hold on, I can't. I can't understand you. You gotta. You gotta calm down. I can't he's understand. He's hiding. He's hiding the gun between the camouflage jacket he's wearing, and he's wearing a black shirt, long sleeve, and black pants. And there's a bunch of children and pregnant women here. You guys need to hurry up. And he's yelling at me. Please hurry up. Athens, Clark County, number one. Hey, I'm at Trail Creek Park right now at the black side. There's a man out here who's yelling obscenities at the ladies that are selling the tickets to the flash pad. It sounds like he's threatening them. I, I don't really know what's going on with him, but he's being very loud and belligerent. What is he yelling about, do you know? I'm really not sure. I heard a lot of curse words. <laughs> Athens Park County, now one one. Hi, I'm calling you at Walker Park, and the gentleman is in the parking lot now, walking away. He has a gun that he's been pointing at everybody. There are still no police here. Yes, ma'am, the police are pulling into the area. We have to wait until some backup comes, but we do have them in the area. Okay, well, he's getting away. He's walking through the parking lot, he's getting away now, so. Athens Clark County, 911. Okay, I called him. Hey, uh, the man I called about, uh, I'm sorry, I'm at Trail Creek Park. I, was, I called about a man who was cursing everybody and... Right. Back to violence. He's walking towards the parking lot right now. He's wearing black clothing. He's he's got a gun. Yeah, I'm clear. Walking toward the parking lot. He's walking toward the parking lot right now. He's uh, up up by the field. Uh, one of the guys that was selling tickets says that this guy took his phone. Okay. I got the. Um, he's now. I think he's now entering the parking lot. He's yelling at somebody. Playing. I think he's trying to steal their car, maybe, or get them out of their car. There's a, it's over in the corner of the parking lot. I could point you there. I, it looks like he's just ordered some people out of their vehicle. Okay. He's getting in their vehicle now. What kind of car is it? It's a black uh, Toyota, I think. The car is she's yeah. truck? Yeah, it, it, he's driving away in their vehicle now. What I got it. I'm, calling, I'm on the phone with the police right now. Uh, he's, he's driving out of the parking lot now. He's going down the hill. What kind of vehicle is it, sir? 2003 Honda Pilot. Black. 2003? 2003 Honda Pilot. It's a black vehicle. Yeah. He's gone out of my sight now. He's going down the hill. SUV, SUV. You said that's your, your Honda Pilot? Yeah, he told me to get the fuck out. Okay. What is your name? Put a gun. Drive it. Fuck it.
hell. What's up, Bob? What should we do? Let's give me those light pole. Stop, police! Stop the car now! Get out of the car! Let me see your hands now! Get on the ground! Put it down now! Put it down! Put it down! He's taking a defensive position. Put it down! Let me see your hands! Put it down! Put it down! Put it down now! Don't make me shoot you! Put it down. Put it down, sir. Please put it down. Hey, man, we can work on this. Put it down. Put the gun down. We want to help you. We want to help you. I don't see him, I don't see him. I don't see him, I don't have him. I do not have him. Push up. Go around. The back side, sir. Tell me when to push, Lieutenant. Tell me when to push.
A1, grab the 40 right there. Drop the gun! Drop it! Drop the gun! Drop it! Okay, we can help you, but put the gun down first. Bo, I got a great shot over here if you want to come. Put it down! Six, seven central shots fired. Uh, he got back in the car. Central, we need EMS 1018. They need a stage. Can you see him? No, he jumped back in. He's in the Six car. One, he's in the car. I can't see him. He jumped back in. I don't know where he's at. Yeah. Are you clear on all the radio traffic? Yeah. You want to, um, we need a, we need a kit. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that right now. I think so. Uh, what side is the Bearcat on? Peter Street? All right, we're good. On first. Peter. A little warm today, huh? All right, hold the track. All right, Bearcat. <laughs> oh, yo. Get on this front seat for me. Whoop. All right, he is in the driver's seat. He slumped over. He is in the driver's seat. He's in the driver's seat. Driver's seat. Driver's seat. Driver's seat. His hands look empty. His left one is. Yeah, he's, his hands are empty. Yeah, there's yeah, it looks like he's empty. Yeah. Yeah. Ton of blood in the back seat. One more. I'm gonna try again on each one. It looks like he's signal seven. It looks like he's signal seven. Yeah, he's signal seven. Yeah, yeah, he's in. Right. If y'all pull up and block. And I'll move down to you guys and we can move on if you're comfortable with you have the rifle sure we there there's one in yeah, here? Yeah, there's one in here. Yeah, 10 4, we got one in here. Ten four. Alright, we'll go out of the back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Hunter, Hunter, yeah. find the rifle shield shield out of there. Uh, are they gonna come beat us in a second? Three on six. Shoot, we're loose. I'm saying I'll stay on the east side with you, Joe. Yeah, that's it. One, is someone coming down here? You want me to put this on? I can, I can rock that. Oh, man. Yes. I have to stay on, on. He's got to stay in the, in the car. Okay. I'll, ro I'll r
hold cover, and then I think Dan's coming up here too. Yeah, another one back here. Yeah, I think Dan said he's Dan says he's meeting us over here. Hold up, he's moving. Are you moving? No, I'm not moving. Okay. Nothing. I thought he was rolling. He's looking at him with the drone. Stand by. Grab your rifle. Yep. Get in the turret. You know how to pop that open? I'll figure it out. It should be to your left right there, that latch, and then you gotta push it open and there's a port. One. You're gonna yeah. have to you got to rotate it again you to face. Rifle with you? No. I got mine right here. He's he's pretty inside it right now. All right, let's make sure we stay right to not interfere with the high cover. All right. You just tell me when to move. All right, we're going to push right and then come in uh, straight off. Okay. All right. All right. Push right. We're moving. Push right. Right more. You see any breathing? No. There is a rifle in that. He's leaning on the rifle, but his hands are empty. Yeah, his hands are empty, though. We want to pull him out? Uh, yeah, away from the gun. Somebody said he had two, but his left pocket looks pretty empty. I'll walk up with you, Dan. You can pull, I, I, pull him to the right of me if you can grab him. Do we do we need to pull him out or should I just check? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll just go here to the front door. I'll have uh, cover on him. I mean, there. yeah. I don't so, think he's gonna move, dude. If okay. you want to just check his pulse and leave that scene, it's up to you. I'm gonna go left right now. All right. You move up. And I'm gonna don't, you got watch your cross cover from above or crossfire. You got a serious head when he's done. It was, there wasn't any. All right, backing up. You want to go back to the Bearcat? Yeah. All right, I'm dropping the shield. Just tell him to hold off on that. All right, give me a sh rifle shield guy. I got lethal cover. Do what? Nothing. I thought he was rolling. He's looking at him with the drone. Okay. I'm behind you here. Grab your rifle. Yep. Get in the turret. Pop it up. It should be to your left right there. That latch, and then you got to push it open. There's a port. One. You yeah. Have to, you have to rotate it again. Do you have your rifle with you? No. I got uh, mine right here. That's right. There's a mini drone inside there right now. All right, let's make sure we stay right to not interfere with the high cover. All right. You just tell me when I'll be on your left side. All right, we're going to push right and then come in uh, straight off. Okay. All right. All right. Push right. All right. Push right. Right more. You see any breathing? No. There is a rifle in that. He's leaning on the rifle. Right? He's leaning on the rifle. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Do we want to pull him out? Uh, yeah. Away from the gun. Somebody said he had two, but his left pocket looks pretty empty. Yep. Nah. Yeah, I'm on. 
I'll walk up with you, Dan. You can pull him to the right of me if you can grab him. Do we, do we need to pull him out or should I just check a pulse? I'll just go here to the front door. I'll catch uh, up from there. Yeah. I don't think he's going to move, dude. If you okay. want to just check his pulse and leave that scene. It's up here. You move up, and I'm going to check his pulse. Watch your pulse to cover from above. He might have self-inflicted. All right, let's pull back. Can you like the bear cat? Yeah. Big signal seven. Three, five, two to four. I'm going to cancel our aviation. He's got a head wound, no pulse. Do you want to have EMS come in or do you just want to preserve the scene? K9 can cancel. Let's go out here. EMS is pulling up. There, oh, there they go. Um, did you see two guns? He said that they had a rock pistol first. When he was out here, I saw him with that rifle right there. When he pointed it at Eccles and Slaney, that's when I fired. Uh, you shot? With yeah. Rifle? Hang out back there. Leave your rifle in the condition it's in. Did you shoot? Right now, yeah, we just did. We did, um, did one right now, so. Just to clear out. Hey, stand by with him. Let me get EMS. Yeah, you can actually go back up there, hang out by your car, leave your rifle, take your rifle with you, just leave it, keep custody of it, just leave it in the condition it's in. You want to cancel SRT? Yes, the SRT page already went out. I'm just going to put it in my trunk. Hey, you're good right there. He took a round to the head, but we wanted y'all to confirm. He's sitting in the driver's seat, no pulse, significant head wound. He is laying on his rifle, but we've already... Self-inflicted? I don't think so. I think he caught a round through the windshield. Yes, until you get back to the car. Okay. And check in with your sergeant. Yeah. And then uh one of the weapon will be uh start counting guys and send up send about five bullets as they kill them. Um all right, we got EMS out here right now is verifying he's ten seven and we'll get out of here. All right. It's been at least 20 minutes since the shots were fired. No pulse, completely happy. Watch, he is laying on that rifle, but. I don't want to move it. I don't want to upset the crime scene any more than we do. Thank you, Timmy. The subject is status warning, show units 10 8 and attach me to that address that call. As you can see, the whole event ended right here in this exact spot. In fact, the officer was propped up here against this pole looking at the car right there with his rifle. Juan did not comply with the officers who were absolutely begging him and saying, please put the gun down so we don't have to shoot you. But this is the spot right here where that went down. Juan Castellano died from his injuries that day without us ever getting to find out why he wanted to talk to the state police and what was going on with him. As the day went along and none of Juan's family had heard from him, they started getting wind of what might have happened on, and, and they were hearing this from the news and friends and that kind of stuff. So they actually called into 911 themselves to try and get answers. Hey, police. Yes, hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Um, I have a question. I'm trying to figure something out. Um, 
There was an incident at Trail Creek today. Mm-hmm. Was a gentleman, was somebody shot? Uh, hang on, I'm going to have to have you talk to whoever's dealing with the situation. Okay. Are you, were you there, or? I wasn't there, but I don't know if, 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 I seen a picture. I don't know if the shooter's my husband. I don't know if you guys have shot him. I don't know what's going on with the story, and I need to know. And this Clark County Police Department. Hi, good evening. I am calling about the shooting over at the Walker Park. Uh-huh. Is it your officers that respond to it? I, I'm from Massachusetts, so I'm just looking up um, the police department and found that there was a couple that said um, Atlanta, Clark County. Okay, are you with the press or something? Or? I am not. So I live in Massachusetts. Uh-huh. Um, if it is indeed my brother, Joseph Castellano, or Juan Castellano, I am his sister, uh-huh. and I would like to try to get an officer to contact me if it is indeed my okay. brother so I can al- al- alert my mother. We have a lot of death and sickness that my mother's responded to, so I want to be sure before I gotcha, battle gotcha. her nerves. And you're in Massachusetts, right? I am in Massachusetts. His wife had just called. And she is very distraught. That is going to do it for this video today. And the body camera footage from the 2021 officer-involved shooting of Juan Castellano. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, go down, hit that subscribe button, then hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you all. I will see you again in the next one. Please, all of you, stay safe and stay healthy. Much love to you all.